Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my July beauty favorites. I have a good combination of makeup, skincare, some hair care, and some fashion lifestyle things that I'm excited to share with you. But before we get started, I would love to welcome new visitors and viewers to my channel. Hello, my name is Eve. I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about all things beauty and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. If that sounds interesting to you, I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back. And now without further ado, let's dive in into my July beauty favorites. So today I have a good mix of all kinds of beauty and lifestyle products to share with you. Some of them are new, some of them are already loved ones that I've had in my collection for some time and I just pulled them out of my collection for the warm summer season. Right now in Florida it's the hottest and most humid time of the year and I want to start this video from doing a shout out to my nails, old school. My nails are these. This is the packaging they are from salon perfect and it's called magnetic mirror effect they basically have a cat eye effect this is a long style almond shape it has a cat eye effect look how beautiful that silver reflect is you know my natural nails are very very thin and they're almost short cut to nothing and it's definitely a big transition for me to go from like no nails to this length however this almond shape is so comfortable i feel very comfortable with this length regardless of this like drastic transition from short to long they do not catch on anything and i've already mentioned that in the past that's a long perfect brass on nails they are literally my favorite out of what else is out there that I've tried and believe me I've tried so many different brands I am on a PR list for Salon Perfect I unfortunately do not have any type of discount code for you but these are very affordable they are available in Walmart so of course I will have them linked for you in the description box but uh, something that I've um, mentioned to you before in regards of Salon Perfect uh, press on nails is that their glue is so good I sometimes wear the nails for two weeks nothing comes off um, so usually I do not include eyeshadows into my monthly favorites because I do have a dedicated video where I rank all my monthly eyeshadow palettes but today I know you guys may be asking me questions I want to do a shout out to my eye makeup look today which I did film for my Instagram reels uh, it should be already live when you're watching this video so this is what's on my eyes today and the new uh, palette from Gourmand Girls Peach Perfect uh, this is their recent launch oh my god this color story is so stunning and I did a very beautiful a green monochromatic look this was my first time trying the Gourmand Girls formula and I was not disappointed. I didn't do the dedicated video on this palette, but I uh, do have uh, more content on my Instagram uh, for it. So make sure to check it out if you are interested. So now uh, let me get to more makeup to talk about. A lot of these products I actually am wearing today on my face. So you will see some demo throughout this video. So the first one I want to talk about is this primer. This is a pore eclipse mattifying primer. So like I mentioned earlier, we are in the hottest and most humid season right now in Florida. All the products that I have in my collection, the ones that target the oiliness, preventing makeup melting off of my face, they are coming to the front row seats. And um, this is one of them. This is a really good product. Um, another wonderful item that I finally got to really use is this new foundation that Bayer Minerals launched beginning of the year. I got the shade. This is called Skin Perfecting Matte Liquid Foundation ultra comfort mineral spf 20 i got mine in shade fair 15 cool this is a shade that when i got it in winter it didn't really work for me i also took it with me to russia when i went to visit my family and if you watch my get ready with me video you probably saw like how it looked on my palest skin but right now i'm in a season where i'm tanning and the tan that i have today is pretty much like leftovers of the tan so it's like very very light hint of color and this is the shade that perfectly matches um uh, my lightest tan let's say such a beautiful formula that goes on skin kind of like hydrating but then it gives you a soft matte finish and it's also very long wearing this is just a foundation that i see myself wearing throughout the year it's just such a perfected formula so another foundation that i want to do a shout out to it's a new one from urban decay it's called face bond foundation i got mine in the shade five fair neutral nice and narrow it's plasticky it's really easy like to squeeze on it to get the foundation product out this foundation is so long wearing i also love how thin it is it does give you like that medium coverage but it is a little bit buildable i don't uh, tend to wear heavy foundations anymore so this is a um, very nice formula and i love that it is self-setting technically i don't need to potter it if i don't want to it looks beautiful on skin i notice a little bit of a smoothing effect and it's just so long lasting so i've been reaching to this urban decay foundation quite a bit lately another product that i've been really loving is 
this duo concealer duo from Sigma Beauty. I have mine in the shade light to medium. I just love the packaging. I think it's very convenient. And I also really love that there's two different shades. This color combo definitely matches my complexion really well. I applied it today with a brush because I have long nails, but it also works beautifully with a finger, but I can use any of these products on a bare face without anything else and it would look natural. This first shade is a little bit lighter so I apply it usually here in the inner corner of my eye and then the other shade is just perfectly matches my natural complexion. I do have a little bit of redness always here in the outer corner of my eyes so this shade perfectly works. I can just like tap it here, tap it here and I already look more awake. So another product that I've been uh, really loving, another concealer that I've really been loving, not new to my collection, I've had it since last year, it's a Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. It does have a natural finish and it is a cell setting formula. I technically don't need to powder it if I don't have to. This also works. So I got mine in the shade 11.5P. This is a product that works under my eyes as well as the full-on foundation. Uh, last year when I bought it, I was in New York and um, I ended up using it as a foundation the entire time. It has a really nice a big doe foot applicator. And this is the shade. It has a little bit of pinkiness in it, so it is brightening, but it's not like super bright under my eyes. And um, like I said, it works on my palest skin as a foundation. It has a beautiful coverage and it's super long lasting. I wanted to do a shout out to few blushes um, because I don't believe I'm gonna be doing any videos specifically to like my summer complexion favorites. I will include some of my favorite blushes here in the video to show you something that I've been reaching for quite a bit. So the first one I actually am wearing on my face today. This is the duo from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade do we know her this formula to begin with is very great and i love it i have three of these blushes in my collection but this is definitely like my spring and definitely summer shade the formula doesn't fade throughout the day i know if i apply this it's gonna last me the entire day and just the color is so stunning my other favorite is from danessa myrex a yummy skin cream blush in the shade bellini i just love this this is a little bit more orangey I will go ahead and swatch this for you. Also has a very interesting texture. It's different from the Patrick Tawan. Um, this has a smoothing effect on cheek and it's also self-setting. This specific product I like traveling with because you're on the go, let's be honest. When we travel, we wanna enjoy things. We wanna experience things rather than just like spending time in front of the mirror putting our makeup for two hours. This is just my personal preference. When I travel, I like to have makeup that is easy and fast for me to apply that i don't have to overthink it like i want a high quality but i also want it to be fast this is one of the products that is definitely fitting in that category the next summary blush that i absolutely love from color to formula to like application and uh, packaging is great this is the stick blush from persona cosmetics and i got this in the shade uh, guava this is actually a multi-stick so you can use it all over your face. I've tried it on my eyes and lips and it looks beautiful. And this is the Guava from Persona. They're very similar, but this is definitely more concentrated color. It gives you an effect of like a burnt orange cheeks. It's just such a stunning formula. It's another blush, which came to my collection very recently. And I believe this is a somewhat recent launch from the brand. This is Essence Blush Crush. And I got mine in the shade 10 Caramel Latte. You guys, when Alta delivered the package to me but this blush it was completely shattered when i opened it it looked like it was just a loose product like a loose powder and i had to repress it so that's why mine looks kind of ugly so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you and then i will tell you all amazing things about this product it has beautiful smooth sheen to it i hope camera gives it justice it has a sheen of like a rose gold and nude and this is a product that I've been looking for uh, for some time because I do have a pretty extended blush collection, both cream and powder formulas. And I just have been looking to one that would look natural, like very like nude kind. This is the product that I'm wearing today. As you can see, it just gives me like this beautiful, very smooth, like finishing glow. The way I've been using it, it's just basically doing bronzer and just topping my bronzer here it gives me a little bit of hint of color so it's not just bronzer with a highlighter 
but also it is not a full-blown blush so it's kind of like that in the middle so you kind of have something on your cheeks but you also don't and it's been perfect and the formula is so 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 beautiful of course i want to share with you my lip duo because i've had over heels the base product i have is from whatsapp beauty this is their cream bullet lipsticks in the shade eye of raw the detailing on the bullet itself is mind-blowingly gorgeous I just love the formula. It's creamy, but it's not too shiny. It's like almost like a borderline between cream and soft matte, and you don't need to push on your lips to apply it. It just kind of glides on. I just love it, and it wears really beautifully on its own, like if you just kind of like that formula only on your lips. And this component is absolutely stunning. So I will go ahead and swatch this for you separately. So you would see the shade. It is so, so, so pretty. It's kind of like rosy, but it's almost kind of peachy. So it has been wonderful for the summer season. It's a very comfortable, like transitional, like spring to summer uh, kind of product for me because it does have a little bit of warmness in it, uh, but not too warm. And I really love that that's a cream formula that plays well with others. So if I apply gloss on it, it doesn't start acting weird or breaking down on my lips, if you know what I mean. The type of product that I have is this, uh, this is Milky Gloss from NYX. It does have a little bit of like the warmer, um, sheer orangey tint. I have these two products layered together. This is a final result, head over heels. This also smell really lovely and the, the bullet lipstick does not smell like anything so another makeup product that i recently have tested it's new to the market it's a brand new one and i told you guys in one of my new makeup releases videos that i was gonna get it because it is a bronzer you know me and the bronzers we always have an eye for each other. So the Makeup Forever Artist Bronzer, I got mine in the shade 15 Wild Sand. The packaging is um, really Makeup Forever, nothing to write home about. It does have this little clasp here that you press on and it has a very nice smear. The pans are removable. They're not magnetic, but there's like a little notch here that you can just pop the shade out. And this is also a size that is standard because I've already tried it with like some of my other products, some of my blushes and powders. I'm like, okay, well, once this is over, or maybe I have something that I depotted, but I wanna travel with this, I can easily use this as a traveling component. That's a bonus in my eyes. This shade, 15 Wild Sand, it's, giving me a Laguna from NARS um, kind of vibe. It has that like neutral, like a true neutral effect. Beautiful formula, really easy to blend, but I just have a little bit deeper color. When I'm in my palest, I can't use it. So when I'm freshly tanned, this is a perfect color for me to use and I've been really enjoying it. It has a really nice like soft matte finish. So one makeup product that is unfortunately kind of like, it's not a complete fail, but it's also not a, you know, something that I really like. It's kind of meh, you know? It was considerably expensive. It also came from the brand that I thought I was gonna for sure I love because I love so many things from the brand. Uh, this is a new Potter foundation from Natasha Denona. I mean, the packaging is absolutely stunning. It has this like uh, soft matte touch. You remember the old packaging from NARS. The component is really nice. You get a mirror, this opens up and you get like this cute little puff here. I do have a, um, a reel on this product as well on my Instagram. My sum up thoughts about this. It's fine, but it's not long lasting. I probably, get about two maybe three hours out of this and then it just starts looking creepy on my face it just starts giving me so much texture it just overall does not wear well it looks okay when you initially apply it but then it just does not wear well so i wanted to share an, a fashion item with you uh something that is super essential it's a crop top like that so the back is just the same cut. This is double layer. The stitching is really nice. I just really love the size of the straps and not too thin or too wide. So if you wear a bra, so this area is gonna be covered. I'll have it link for you. This is so perfect. It comes in different colors, works uh, perfectly as an undergarment. It has this like very soft uh, material, but it also is a little bit thicker because it's double layered. So if you don't wanna wear a bra, you would still have like a really nice hold. Like it's double layered through like from top to bottom, like the entire piece is double layered. So you're not gonna have that like under layer just like rolling up and stuff. So this is a really, really excellent product. Another clothing item that I really have been loving uh, is this top that I'm wearing today. Soft v-neck and it has like texture here and then like ruffled sleeves that kind of cover, you know, this area right here if you just, 
don't wear, wear anything sleeveless. You maybe want to cover up a little bit of your arm. So I really find this flattering and just gives you a little bit of like a girly touch to your outfit. I got these in a few different colors because they have like an array of colors. This is really nice, comfortable, like light fabric. It just doesn't really wrinkle that much to begin with but it's also very nice for this super hot weather that we live in. Now this product right here from Pitch and Lily. This is the first time I tried this. This is called Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. It has 10% AHA, 0.5% BHA plus blue agave. This has a very thin gel texture so you don't need a lot of it it's also pretty high in actives so again you don't need a lot of it you just need a very thin layer i just use a flat foundation brush that i only use for my mask and i just apply it in a very very thin layer so i only use it where on my oily t-zone is and this just does magic when i tell you that my skin after using this has a different color well it's like literally magic in a bottle i definitely want to say that this product is more targeted towards oily people i am so happy i got this this has a 12 month shelf life but you just need such a small amount you guys i use this once a week and uh, i know that this will last me easily for a year it just really feels like you went to the esthetician and got a professional service done it is just worth every single penny to my opinion right. another skincare actives product that i've been really loving uh recently is these glycolic acid exfoliating pads it's 20 percent strength of glycolic acid it does also have uh, vitamin b5 c and e calendula and green tea extract and so i've been using actives since i turned 30. Uh, my skin at this point is a pretty trained for this high strength of a product but what i've been doing differently with this specific product is that actually taking my actives from my face down to my neck and chest lately i've been noticing that i started having more texture in my decollete area and i wanted to go a little bit heavier on professional strength products i've used this product once a week for the last five weeks and i notice big difference already in my chest area in the texture of my chest area that the first time i used it and the second times i used it my skin just started purging but that is again normal to experience if you are completely new let's just say my chest area was like a virgin for the actives i started using my skincare that i use on the face on my chest as well that's something that i've been doing probably about a year year and a half now but i've never really did too uh, many actives i would put like retinol sometimes on my chest but i would never use like any exfoliating like acids on my chest area so this was like first time i did it but after those two times it just started looking better and better every single time I absolutely love it. I don't see myself ever going back. Another skincare item that I really have been loving, especially now in summer, and now me using more actives because again combo oily skin living in a hot and humid area my skin definitely needs more attention so i've been really loving this sleeping mask from la neige it does have a centella asiatica as a main ingredient it has a very beautiful calming effect on the skin while also giving you hydration so i usually wear it overnight and when i wake up in the morning my skin just feels and looks so much calmer like less redness and just beautifully hydrated so the last but not least i want to share with you some things that i recently purchased and they are in my kitchen First, I did get a pressure cooker. I've never had one before and when I visited my family, both my mom and my sister used them and I was like, how come I've never had this item in my life? So when I got home, I immediately ordered myself one and I got the 9-in-1 pressure cooker and you guys, I don't know how I lived without this thing my entire life. Do you have one? Let me know how much you love it. What do you cook? Share your best recipes with me. I am in my like new pressure cooker era. I just want to like cook everything in that thing. I also picked up this book. It is available separately, but it is meant for that pressure cooker that I got. It's the same brand. These recipes in this book are so simple. They're all simple ingredients, something that is just very easy to make. They're, a lot of them are like under 30 minutes cooking time. And I am okay with cooking, but I don't like to be spending too much time in the kitchen cooking cooking with a pressure cooker is just so much cleaner than cooking on the stove i'm literally currently obsessed with this thing i want to cook everything in it i may do some uh, short form content and share it with you on my instagram or tiktok uh, of my favorite recipes but the recent most favorite one actually is from this book it's a lemon blueberry oatmeal you all oh my god it's absolutely amazing literally takes you like a minute to put everything together and it takes 12 minutes total to cook everything from like beginning to end it's the most delicious thing i've ever tried and i don't even love oatmeal i should tell you something so i would absolutely love to hear your best recommendations or best recipes 
uh, for the pressure cooker. If you follow me on Instagram, please feel free to DM me with everything that has to do with pressure cooker because I am currently all in. Yeah. All right, guys, these are all the things that I wanted to share with you. So many wonderful uh, products that I've been loving in the last month plus. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below this video. I would love to chat with you there. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.